Bien, pues el equipo de OpenAI está presentando Operator, como lo han llamado, que básicamente es una vista previa de investigación de un agente, es decir, ya se empiezan a meter la palabra agente en todos los lados, que puede usar su propio navegador, es decir, nuestro navegador, y realizar tareas por nosotros, y está disponible, aquí la mala noticia, para usuarios pro y en Estados Unidos. Es decir, pro es el que cuesta 200 dólares, así que apuntan fuerte, y bueno, vamos a ver un poquito antes de ver cómo funciona, aquí lo tenemos las pruebas que han hecho y aquí nos comentan que en este caso pues eh, Operator es un agente que puede navegar en la web para realizar tareas por nosotros utilizando su propio navegador, puede visitar páginas web, interactuar con ellas y escribiendo, haciendo clic y desplazándose, vale algo que ya hemos visto en este canal muchas veces con, no con OpenAI, pero sí con otros proveedores. Y actualmente está en vista previa de investigación, es decir, que no todos tenemos acceso, lo que significa que tiene limitaciones y va a evolucionar rápidamente según los usuarios pues vayan dando su feedback. Y el Operator es uno de nuestros primeros agentes, como os digo, aquí lo están comentando, la palabra agente, la IA, capaces de trabajar de manera independiente, y el objetivo de un agente es esta frase de aquí, tú les das una tarea y la ejecuta por nosotros sin tener que preguntarnos. Y ahí siempre lo digo, hay que tener cuidado con esto porque la tarea que te ejecute puede que no tenga los resultados que quiera y acabe haciendo cosas que dañen tu ordenador. Pero bueno, Operator puede encargarse de una amplia variedad de tareas repetitivas en el navegador, como rellenar formularios, hacer pedidos de comestibles e incluso crear memes, es decir, pues tú compras de Amazon, le puedes decir, oye, vete a Amazon, cómprame eh, las cosas que compras habitualmente y paga, ¿vale? Eso te, se puede automatizar y su capacidad para usar las mismas interfaces y herramientas que los humanos utilizan a diario, ¿vale? Así que ayuda a las personas a ahorrar tiempo en tareas cotidianas y abre oportunidades y aquí está para la gente que quiera hacer nuevas cosas en los negocios. Y para asegurar el lanzamiento seguro, están empezando de manera limitada. Hoy Operator está eh, para los usuarios Pro, ¿vale? Aquí vamos, vamos a ver qué es Pro. Vale, Pro es el que paga 200 dólares, así que yo no estoy en ese selecto grupo. Y como vemos aquí, pues bueno, vamos a ir directos a la demo, ¿vale? Aquí lo tenemos, vamos a ver qué están presentando. Stream is over. Um, and as you can see, the interface is very similar to ChatGPT. You can type in a prompt, and an operator will try to execute the task to the best of its capability. You will also see we have a list of pre-filled prompts here. These are not really meant to be recommendations. These are meant to be things that, you know, to give you an idea of what operator can do. We have also collaborated with various brands like OpenTable, All Recipes, StubHub, Uber, Thumbtack, DoorDash, eBay, Target, to make sure Operator really works well on these websites, but also we think users will find Operator value, very valuable in interacting with these platforms. So with that, let's jump in with a demo. Okay, so I'm going to start with something fairly simple. I'm going to use OpenTable and say, book me a table for two at Beretta tonight at 7 p.m. Okay. And so you specifically chose OpenTable. Yeah, in this case, I'm asking operator to use OpenTable to book a table for two at Beretta. Beretta is a restaurant in San Francisco. It's great. You should try it out. Uh, and at 7 p.m. And I could, I'm, I'm using OpenTable in this case, but I could have easily said, just do Beretta, and it would have probably gone to search engine, figured out how to make a reservation as well. But let's see what it does. So can you explain what's happening in this? Like, yeah, great. So I'm going to expand this a little bit. So as soon as I type in the query, operator instantiated a completely remote browser. This browser is running in the cloud somewhere. And as you can see, it's already up and running. And my hands are off the keyboard. I'm not typing these things. <laughs> so this is just the AI is clicking around. AI yeah, is just clicking around. It, is, it started this browser session. It knew where OpenTable website is, which is opentable.com. As you can see, it's summarized chain of thought here as well, which is it's gone to the URL, searched for Beretta. And something cool really happened, which is at, for some reason, operator uh, OpenTable thought we were in Virginia and it auto-corrected itself to San Francisco. This is using, so like ChatGPT in Operator, you can also give custom instructions. So I'm going to show this really quickly here. Let's do, OK. So I've given a custom instruction that for queries that need it, I live in San Francisco. So Operator recognized that and then auto-corrected itself to go to, San, to, go to Beretta. OK, it looks like 7 PM isn't available. But you know what? 7.45 is just fine. So we're going to go do that. 
So in this case, operator came back, and this is a really good example of task delegation where operator needs help or needs assistance or just wants to ask you something. It'll just come back and you answer that. So query. in practice, you wouldn't have had to watch this. You could have just let it go off while you're doing other things. Then it would come back and say, hey, I can't do 7. Totally. Yeah, and we're starting with a web app. You'll get notifications, et cetera. When uh, operator moves into mobile, you'll get mobile notifications, much like interactions we do with general apps. OK, yes, that's great. Let's do it. Okay. So again, very, uh, very simple interaction as you would have with an assistant, which is, hey, I found a reservation, 7 p.m. wasn't available, let's do 745. And again, you can see um, operator at this point has said, OK, should I? Again, this is a really good example of the confirmations work we're going to talk about a little bit later. But you know, before doing an action, which is sort of irreversible in this case, we can cancel the reservation, obviously. But again, taking a critical action, operator is asking us before actually doing it. And in this case, I'm going to say, let's. Do it. Okay, it was pretty quick. I would say, like you know, fifty seconds. And again, we were watching in this case, etc. But as Sam but said, you could kick off ten kick of it these. Up yeah. and go on. Okay, so let's try something. Oh, unfortunately, that <laughs> table is no longer available. So it's gonna probably go and find alternate time slots. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. That's never happened before. <laughs> uh, Live demos, man. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> let's do it fifteen. Okay, while it's doing that, how about we try something a little bit more complicated? Grocery. Yeah, I love groceries. So I've been using operator to shop all my groceries. I love to cook quite a bit. And I have been using operator exclusively for groceries. So let's, I have a shopping list here, which is this one. Let's see what it is. Eggs, spinach, mushrooms, chicken thighs, chili crunch. So this uh, is a picture that you're uploading. Here. That's exactly right. And I'm going to use Instacart, which is, again, what we use generally. Can you buy this for me, please? And I'll also specify the store I like, which okay. is, well, let's see if it figures out. I missed, I missed <laughs> it, but uh, let's see. Uh, OK, so in this case, again, operator quickly actually recognized using gpt 4 os vision capabilities to understand that the image said egg, spinach, mushroom, chicken thighs, and it actually knew Gus's market. And I'm like, yes, that sounds great. Cool. Again, just like OpenTable, it instantiated a browser, and it's going to go ahead and start doing tests. I'm going to expand the view, and let's see what it does. So in both of these cases, you've said what you wanted to use. If you just say, buy me these groceries and don't specify Instacart, what happens? It will do a search, use a search engine, much like we do, and it'll find you know, Instacart or Gus's directly website or whatever else is on the search engine. Go through that, ask you questions if it needs clarifications, and go from there. I'm curious what's happening here, though, Ray. Do you want to yeah. tell us a little bit about it? So now that you've seen a bit of Operator, let me talk a little about the research behind it. So Operator is based on the new model we've trained at OpenAI, which we're calling the Computer Using Agent, or CUA for short. So CUA is a model built off. Bueno, aquí hemos visto la, la presentación. De hecho, esta mañana estaba subiendo en mi otro canal un vídeo sobre un modelo que hace exactamente lo mismo. Si le queréis echar un ojo, eh, os dejo el enlace más abajo. Es este de aquí. Dicho esto, pues bueno, lo importante para mí de este lanzamiento de OpenAI hoy es que ya nos vamos acercando al tiempo en el que se va a empezar a hablar de agentes. Lo van a, lo van a poner los agentes todas, las grandes empresas van a ir a por ellos. Este es simplemente un ejemplo. Lo van a empezar a testear, como siempre, un pequeño selecto grupo, los que ahora mismo viven en Estados Unidos y están pagando la cuota de 200 dólares, pero pronto al final todo este tipo de de actualizaciones acabarán en ChatGPT gratis para todos porque al final es su plataforma y donde sacan dinero, incluido cuando eres un usuario gratuito. Nada, ya me decís qué os parece el operador. Como siempre, darle like y suscribiros.